Hi everybody, this is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor, with today's Covered Call Writing Question of the Day. And today's question comes from William of Birmingham, Alabama. Alan, I recently purchased 300 shares of LTD at $40 a share, and then wrote three covered calls with a strike of 44 expiring this month, and I collected $368.77. Now the stock is sitting just above $50. If this was your stock, and I know it wouldn't be because of the upcoming earnings report, would you just let it expire and move on, or would you play this another way? Well, William, you bring out a good point about the earnings report. Earnings reports, if there is a negative disappointment, can wipe out all your gains or worse. The good news is the strike price that you sold, the 44 strike, is now deep in the money. And deep in the money strikes have a tendency to have very little time value, which means that you can close your short position at very little cost to you. In this case, as you'll see in a moment, only 20 cents per share. So currently your shares are worth $44 because of your option obligation. So let's take a look at the options chain and see where we stand. As you could see from the ask column, which is what you would pay to close your position, the current price to close your short options position is $6.80 for the 44 strike. Now your shares are worth $44 and the current market value is $50.60. So once you close your short position, your shares will appreciate in value from 44 to 5060 or a net credit of $6.60. The debit to close your short options position is $6.80. So if you combine those two, you get a net debit of only 20 cents per share. This is a small price to pay in my opinion to lock in profits and not have to worry about a disappointing earnings report. On another note, LTD happens to be a banned stock on the Blue Collar Investor site. And that's because it reports same store monthly retail sales. Many companies report these stats on a quarterly basis, but LTD is one of about 70 companies that report on a monthly basis, and this represents the same kind of risk as does an earnings report. So I would give serious consideration to never using this company for your covered call writing portfolio. William, thanks very much for that question. I'm sure many of our viewers benefited from the question and the response. At least I hope so. This is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor, thanking you for watching. Take care, everybody.